Today is one of the great highlights of the college's calendar every year. It's our industry day, which we use to bring employers and other people from the community in to showcase the very best of what the college is able to do. All our construction and engineering sections run competitions for the students and we have sponsorship from employers which encourages our students to engage and to compete and to stretch themselves. So, welcome to the College of North West London. Again, my name is Scott Warman and I'm one of the lessons here from Plumbing, Gas and Renewable Energy. Welcome back to both of you for the Big Rig Final. This time it's slightly different. I also need a hot shower. So what we've set up here is that they need to design basically a bathroom with hot and cold running water and also reuse the wastewater to be able to flush a WC. So we're competing against Uxbridge and we'll be judged on levels of efficiency, innovation and, and general effectiveness. And also to, to make sure that as students they gain from the whole experience also. Who's going to win? Well we are. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. What it's about is for the students to be able to grasp environmental technologies and put them into practice. You know, after 2015, there's no uh, new gas boilers and new properties. And it has to be renewable energy. So it's starting to sink that idea into the younger generation today. There was this Brent Students Conference on climate change which brought together about three or four different schools to talk about climate change and also share their ideas as well about what they wanted to do in terms of making a sustainable future and how they saw that happening. It was amazingly inspiring and there was energy and loads of great ideas as well. Come on! Yes, what is, we're going to try and get a, a high standard of students by having a, a day like today. It encourages the employers to come along, also the schools to come along and see the college working on vehicles. We've got full-time students who are just in training and we've got day students who are working, come one day per week to get a theoretical knowledge for their employers. The level two electrical installation. This is the level three competition. So, I'm trying to do more than what I probably can, but not be ambitious. I work as a bricklayer as well, but I want to be an electrician. So, I'd rather just go through college.
What I'm doing right now is I'm um, making a circuit for uh, a level 3 competition. Uh, this is the integrated chip. Uh, it plays 8 pins and this is used for various things. There are many different chips out here. This moment is a TBA820M, which is an audio speaker amplifier. The course is a BTEC level 3 in electronic engineering and electrical. Uh, it can take you to university and it can also apply for uh, apprenticeships or even get a job afterwards. You can actually go into different type of courses, so computer science, uh, electronic engineering as itself, uh, electrical engineering, you can go into mechanical, you can go into any type of engineering. You can even go into, um, I've heard people go into maths, like uh, actual maths degrees from this course. As you can see, um, we've got five students taking part in this um, competition and they're actually doing some pipe work uh, manipulation. So they're bending and flaring and brazing pipe work, refrigeration pipe work. And this is the task they've got to produce today. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing I'm doing full-time uh, course, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, and besides that I'll do some, some part-time work in the industry. I find it is very interesting, like uh, what you learn yeah. from here, uh, following day like you're doing in practice, uh, as I said, I find it very interesting. At the moment I'm just doing oxyacetylene welding, after that I'm going to move on to MIG welding and hopefully do a fabrication course as well. Well I'm a motorbike mechanic so I'm doing it for that reason to help me work on vehicles and stuff. There are many types of welding. That we carry out four hands-on processes here, as I said the oxyacetylene, manumetal are MIG and TIG. And they could work in the chip industry, in, in pipe fitting, heating and ventilation, car body work, anywhere in the industry where welding is required. There's a, there's a huge shortage of welders in the industry. There's eight power stations being announced by, by the government um, and, and there's a huge shortage of welders for that. by myself and Tom. We looked over some of the designs, some really good key features. Uh, recycling of water. So why is water coming out of here? Yeah, yeah is this overflow though? Like? No. Wait, let me get something just to give it a tilt so it can get the last bit. I've turned it one way, I've gone the other way now. Keep it fully over. Shower on. No. Shower on. Shower on. Uh, it's working. Okay. What? And the winner this year for the Big Rig Carbon Skills Competition. First time in the competition, Uxbridge College. Yay!
Thank you.